Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the greatest national railway journeys. Today we are not doing a proper railway journey. We're going to go to the Acton Depot today. It's the London Transport Museum Depot. So first we're going to get a Piccadilly line from East Coast to Orange Lane. And then we're going to take the Piccadilly line to Acton Town. When we get to the depot, I've been wanting to see a train which is the 1967 rolling stock of the Victoria Line. As you all know, the Victoria Line has new rolling stock and this one had to be taken out of service because it was a bit too old. But it was a very, very special train and apart from that train, we'll get to see lots of other trains like old Northern Line trains or old Circle Line trains. It will be really, really cool. We'll get to unco uncover the history of the London Underground, basically, through the evolution of all the trains. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and watch out for the funny voiceovers as well, like this one. D78 stock units! So, when I say D78 stock units, okay, I'll say it now. D78 stock units! See, my voice was muted and was taken over by this voiceover. Now, I just want you to keep the, that in mind, that there will be some funny voiceovers around. Train's coming in one minute. Here it is. Take that train to Rain's Lane. As we fast forward all these really unimportant bits, I want you to see something just after East Coast Station on the Piccadilly Line, as we're just approaching South Harrow. There was one little piece of track that transported coal all the way to Stanmore, and that connects off the main, the main line off next to a block of flats. I want you to see that from the train, and the next piece of film will show you just that. That. that mossy green patch that was just leading upwards, that is the piece of track that was used to take coal all the way to Stanmore, which is now the terminus of the Jubilee Line and used to be the terminus of the Baker New Line decades back. Again, as we fast forward these really unimportant bits, we didn't really see anything on the line until. And here we have what I think is the Acton Depot. They've got three D78 stock units! They're going to be phased out in two months, or nearly one month. There's the new S stock trains, rolling stock. Do you know the next station is actually us, Acton Town? This is probably the Acton Depot, but it's a ginormous. Ah, uh, that is Acton Museum Depot. Look at the queue. Look at the queue. So, this is the queue. We'll get the The queue is massive. Massive. I even took it from the train. It's massive. It's even longer than the longest long of longs! 
We could have just died after eons of waiting. This is what happens when it's only open twice a year. We've got the station, active time station. I can't actually see anything that's going on, but I can only see what's going on in my camera. I can see it, very nice. It's a big, it's got a new line train coming in. Look how big the museum depot is. Look how big the queue is. Massive! We're just going to walk around the corner. A district line S stop train with a Piccadilly line train, which is just going into the tunnel. We're going to up and stuff. I didn't know. Didn't you see? That's a slightly better view. Well, much better. Admission prices. Yeah, we don't even care about these admission prices. But we're nearly there. Do We are in here. Ooh. Acton Miniature Railway! So tiny. That's actually an old style map. Oh wow, propaganda. This is what you this is what you make tunnels with. We are officially inside the exhibition. And yeah, that's a tunnel. Oh we've got some we've got some proper A stock in here. As well as D78 stock to the right. There's a Metropolitan and District Railway. So the head of the Metropolitan Line was his name was Sir Ed, Edward Watkin, and the District Line's head was James Stouts Forbes. So they were forced to collaborate to make. After ten years of bickering, they were forced to collaborate by an architect to build the Inner Circle Line. That's why now it's called the Metropolitan and District Railway, but now it's just called the Metropolitan Line. Because of the collaboration, the teamwork that Sir Edward Watkin, who built the famous Neeson Tower, even taller than the Eiffel Tower, which is now been replaced by Wembley Stadium, and James Stutz Forbes, I don't even know what he did, but I've been well educated. Um, there's a train to King's Cross. Amazing. Oh look, it says Metropolitan Line. But then in 2010 they were all phased out and they were replaced by S stock trains. So here we have, here lies one of the last memories of A stock. Press to open. Original. 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 Origi all original. Spencer's original. These benches are museum objects. Please do not sit on them. Mm. Man, look at this. These nice trains. There's something that's flammable in there. Ah, you have the old signage. Ah, uh, I just want to still be behind. It's probably the stop that I don't know what it's called. But it's a not in service train. It's a Piccadilly, Piccadilly line train. It's the stop that they use on the Piccadilly line these days. I haven't heard any news about them facing it out, but oh, it's a table. I haven't had I haven't had any news of them being phased out. Oh, this marble arch. But that stock is pretty old. 1971. That's how old the rolling stock is. The present rolling stock. U38 driving motor car. Look at that. I think this is what they put on. Oh wow. Harrow, Amersham. Uxbridge, yeah. this side out, mind the step. My block, station car park. Oh, wow. Oh, look. Oh, Perivale. That's the old side. Metropolitan 3. 
Well, Metropolitan, Metropolitan 1, I know, lives in Quainton Road, in the Quainton Road depot, near Aylesbury and um, Bucks, Buck, Buck, Buckinghamshire. It's in High Road. It's an old omnibus. I'm now, sit I'm now sitting in an old... Line, no, Northern Line train. I'm oh, sorry, I wasn't filming. Okay, uh, do it again. Too late. On the way out. We'll do it on the way out. Good. Good. Okay. I'm going to. Oh, I don't know. You'd come. I'll just. Is it okay if I film inside? Why? Because I film inside. Could, uh, could George, I film so. I could, could sit I, down, could pretend I, you're all driving. Could, could I film inside? Yeah. Um, as long as there's not too many. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've yeah. just bought two. We're going drivers. forward. No, oh, right. Two fellows there and the drivers. Oh, right. So, <laughs> give them okay. a nostalgia. Uh, it's just a running uh, train, this. Yes. 1938 stock. Uh, or 38, they call it. Stock. They've just come back from the Act of Works. Um, two years of restoration. Two years of restoration. So it goes out on special putting in, putting heritage in. runs. Okay, but not at the moment. I was wondering why the upholstery is in perfect okay. condition. Yes, but it hasn't been redone. So I mean, they didn't yeah. when they did the restoration. Yeah. Like it's both underneath. Right. That's okay, how it went. Okay, I've probably got the brakes on. So already. Uh, so it pretty good condition. Uh, uh, modern station. Yeah. Now we can just go all the way back to. This actually is your accelerator. This is all the braking. Oh, that's the brake. You have two brake systems. Okay, now it's the accelerator. <laughs> okay, let's put the brakes on. I think we're going a bit too fast. I am obsessed with London and Grand. Oh, yeah. This oh. is a nice. 19... I'm also really, really obsessed. 1938. Oh, I said 1938. It's called, it's called the 38 stop. Right. Because they, the they're a very s simple numbering system of the trains. So 38 um, means it's 19. I don't actually really like the new trains because on the old, on the new trains you have to sit like that. On the old trains you could have sit sat like that instead of going like. The new S stop is quite cool. The one before this was the what they call the standard stop. That's that train that's along the side. Yeah. And you got the other car that's open. Isn't it? I like, then um, you'll see that the driving cab is yeah, behind the driver, you had all the control gear, which oh. means that you only had two thirds of the train in those seats. So when this came along, this a bit more completely luxurious. designed, everything was put underneath, the compressors, the controls, everything. Wow. All the resistors and everything put underneath. We got the, uh, the new S-Class uh, yeah, yeah, on the underground today, yeah. Yeah. and it's weird because you can stand in the middle and because it's open all the way. Yeah. The only thing I think that was weird about it, there's way too many bars. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, as you can see, because obviously you snake through, Thank so you it's so doing this, yeah, so like, you, know, you, you see a lot of the bars. Oh, go and bang with the bloody stick and do as well, trap and noise. Caleb? Yeah, so, don't oh, worry. This is the e one of the, like, the evolution of the Jubilee line. I think this is something up to the future. Wow. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. Sorry. I can't press it. I can't press it. It is the last ever 67 stock to run from Victoria to Brixton several times. Actually, I don't think we can go inside. It's Victoria. And then we've got a Southeastern train franchise. Train. Whatever. Oh, there's buses. We've got the buses. I'm only going to start taking pictures now.
but I'm only going to show you pictures in this video because my storage is really running out. Ow. Our buses used to be green in London. In the countryside we've still got green line buses. They are a bus operator. Here we've got an old Jubilee line train. Okay, 50, about 56 seconds remaining until I shut off this video or less. 56 or less. Way less actually. Now. The Queen! Here we have the Queen! The last 67 stop train. Overhead cables and stuff. Trains just rushed past. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, thank you so much for watching this video of TGNRJ British National Railway Journeys episode five.